What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige's Page, and today is my August wrap up. So this is going to be a very low-key chill video, um, I'm really pressed for time, I've recently got a full-time job and don't know when to film or edit, so this is what you're getting, I'm so sorry about the quality, um, not that it's better anyway, but yeah. Um, so this will be a wrap up of my mum picks my TBR, Scallywagathon and Mary Shelleyathon and I'll leave a link to all the necessary videos in the description box below. So starting off with my mum picks my TBR, she picked out five books. I got to four of them and I'm 100 pages through The Vanishing Half and absolutely loving it. So I'm definitely going to continue with this and finish it off. My mum picked these four for me. So I'll just go through those. The Bad Guys episode one by Aaron Babley got uh, four stars. This is great for kids. It definitely would be a five star read for a lot of kids. It's very humorous. It's very quick to read. I think it took me like 10 minutes, if that. And yeah, I'm actually really excited to continue on with the rest of the series just because it was so funny. The next was The Burning by Laura Bates and this was also a four star read. Um, I thought it was a really interesting take on female empowerment and I think this needs to be in every high school library. It's following Anna um, when she's moved from England to Scotland and she's trying to leave the past behind. She's not on social media or anything like that. And yeah, I think it's a really empowering read. My mum hated the ending, but I absolutely adored it. So she picked this for me and then proceeded to immediately read it. <laughs> so when she'd finished it, she goes, you're gonna love the ending, but I hated it. And yeah, I think it's a really interesting take. I think it's a really modern day exploration on online incidences and how to be online and safe. So yeah, I thought that was a really unique take and I think it's really important that both boys, girls and non-binary teens um, read this and form their own opinions on it. The next was The Outsiders by S. He Hinton and this is a five star read for me. I absolutely adored it. I listened to the audiobook and I think that also really helped. It's following the socks and the greases and it's like where Greece drew its inspiration from with those that are obsessed with cars, being the leather jackets, getting into fights versus those that are rich and pompous and are the ones that go around actually like hurting people. Absolutely beautiful and love that. And A Man Is So Discreet by Minnie McGuinness is also a five star read. This is following Grace as she's locked in an asylum um, because she's pregnant and this is following her as she moves to a different asylum and things that unfold through there. It's a look at criminology and the start of it and I feel like this is what Stalking Jack the Ripper was trying to be and yeah Mindy McGuinness just blows me out of the water every time with her writing. I absolutely adored it. Thorn Hollow in this is absolutely amazing. He's very Sherlocky vibe but just I adored it. So yeah, definitely recommend. So with two four star reads and two five star reads, as well as a very potential five stars, I'm already loving it. Um, I think my mum did amazing. She really knows my tastes and what I would like and she did me a real solid in picking these and I'm so happy that I've got to them because some of these have been sitting on my shelves for a while and some of these are brand new and I was just so excited to get to all of them. I'm sad that I didn't manage to finish The Vanishing Half within the month but that's how it goes and reading happens. To segue into that, um, the Mary Shelleyathon hosted by Caitlin from Mad Cheshire Rabbit ran throughout the month of August and so we had to fulfill five prompts. Three of these were filled by one book and then I had one separate. So the main book that I read for the Mary Shelley-a-thon was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and I really really enjoyed this. This was like a four, 4.5 uh, star read for me and I found the meme of it to be absolutely hilarious and it's the scientist and his monster argue over who's more depressed. That basically sums this up but it's in the best possible way. I think the writing was really accessible. The writing was a bit flowery, but because I was listening to the audiobook by Dan Stevens, I felt that it was way more accessible. And yeah, I just really enjoyed the overall experience. And who knows, I might actually enjoy classics. Um, I also did a live show with Merritt, Rachel, and Caitlin uh, on her channel, so I'll leave that linked below as well. This fulfilled the prompt of read a book by Mary Shelley, read a book that was published in 1818, as well as read a gothic or horror book. So that was that, but we'll see this again later. 
The other books that fulfilled prompts was A Man of So Discreet, which was to read a book that had a female protagonist and to read a retelling of your favourite book. So I don't really, like, Matilda is my favourite book and it doesn't really have a retelling. I know I said something else in my TBR, but I went a little off the rails and so I decided Greek Myths by Jean Menzies counts. Um, so this is Jean's from Jean's Bookish Thoughts, her book, and it's illustrated by Katie Ponder and I think this is actually my favorite spirit. I adore this. I gave it five stars. I think it's brilliantly executed and the writing for it is so accessible to kids, which is the target demographic. Personally, there was only like one or two stories that I hadn't heard before, so there wasn't a lot of new knowledge for me, but being more experienced in myth, I'm not surprised by that at all and I wasn't disappointed that I only learned two new things because even that in itself is amazing. So I'm so happy that I picked this up. Um, it's going to be great in my collection and I can't wait to share it with kids whenever that may be and yeah so that fulfilled retellings because it's really just retelling of great myths and I adore great myths. So that leads me into the Scallywagathon. So the first prompt was Deep Sea Legends, read a book based around myth, read great myths. The next I went to number seven and that was Precious Cargo to read a middle grade and I read The Jumbies by Tracy Baptist and this was the middle grade monthly pick for the month of August and I adored it. I gave it a four stars. I think it was really interesting seeing the different kinds of Jumbies and the mythology based around that. Um, Iris is following a little girl as she navigates an island and these Jumbies are in the forest and she's mourned um, but she has some connection to the forest and I think it was really beautifully told and I really really enjoyed it. Next was Detour A, Wash Ashore, read a book that was published more than three years ago. Frankenstein but Mary Shelley fills this perfectly because this was published in 1818. And then finally I was back on the path and I went to nine black sales, read a book with a black cover and so for my book club which we had the meeting for tonight on the 2nd of September, um, I read My Sister the Serial Killer by Onyeka Brathwaite and this was a four star read although it's more like a 3.5 but I found the writing so beautiful that I was happy to round it up to a 4. Um, this is following Korode as she cleans up after her sister Ayola's mess um, when she kills her boyfriend but three times is the definition of a serial killer and these accidents keep happening in the claims of self-defense so it starts to get a bit more suspicious. Um, if you watch my Scallywagathon video, you will see my reaction to the ending of this book, which I found quite amusing. I also did discuss this with Wit from Wit and Wisdom, and yeah, I think it's really, really interesting. Um, I just wish that there was more depth to it and went a different way. I can't give too much away. And definitely a good discussion book if you're looking for a group book. But yeah, just not exactly what I'd wanted, but I wasn't disappointed either. So. And so then, outside of the readathons, I managed to read two extra things, one of which was on my TBR and one of them that was not. The one that was on my TBR was Talking to My Country by Stan Grant. Um, I don't actually have this copy with me anymore because I annotated it and gave it to my mum and she's going to read it eventually, so when I get it back I can actually go through my annotations. I gave this the five stars. It's amazing, every Australian needs to pick it up. Um, <laughs> It's following Stan Grant as he discusses what's it like to be an Aboriginal and his experiences with race, with history, with all those hard topics that occasionally get brushed under the rug. And I feel like it's so important to actually have narratives that articulate the voices that are silenced and their perspectives. And yeah, his life revelations and just how he approached this was so fantastic and so beautifully written. It did not feel like a non-fiction. It felt real but it also wasn't that drab writing that can be so hard to get into. And then finally the last thing I read was actually a gift from my partner um so I saw that he had got it in to his work and I was very excited so he got it for me and that is Stranger Planet by Nathan uh, W. Pyle and this is the second in the Stranger Planet series. Um, and it's got the little alien creatures from Instagram and oh my god, I adore this. I absolutely love these. I think they're so funny and I was just sitting down reading it while he was over and just chuckling to myself and he's like, oh my god, what is happening? And there was one where it's just like, it's me! <laughs> 
and just other little things that just had me absolutely chuckling. So it was a lighthearted read and just perfect to pick up and just breeze through. So I had a very light reading month. Um, I feel it was okay. It could have been better. On average, I was reading about 77 pages a day, which is not ideal for someone who wants to read a lot. Um, but there were a lot of life changes happening. I got a roommate in, I got a boyfriend. It was just so much going on. Um, I was in Sydney for some of it, uh, for a nose checkup. And yeah, so like there was a lot, but I'm so proud that I managed to put out all these videos. I completed assignments. So hopefully I will get on top of those for next month, but I'll leave it linked up in the cards. But I'm participating in Becca's Bookopolathon and Not Safe for Workathon. And Book Up Lathon was not kind to me. Oh dear. So these are some of the books that I read in the month of August and I'm so happy with my little stack. Um, hopefully next month will be a bit more as I said but what can you do? Life happens. Let me know in the comments below how did your August reading month go? Were you happy? Were you sad? If you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!